Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hopeless Romantic, where the younger is looking through your laundry. I, I don't know anything else about it. The younger is looking through my laundry. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone. I'm the creator of this demo. I'd like to remind you that this is an adult game. That means if you're under 18, please do not play this game. Trigger warnings for this game include drugging, dubious consent, stalking, manipulation, and of course, adult fun times. And of course, if there's anything that's exceptionally explicit, I will be dropping that over my Patreon. So, hey, you guys will find out if I cut out anything at the end of this video. Please consume with care and have fun. The version of this game is a demo, but the full game will be coming in the future. Without further ado, let the show begin. Thank you, Bone Doggy. What time is it? You've been sleeping for a long time. You find yourself a bit groggy as you sit up. Who are you again? What is my name? I, I don't even remember my name. What's my name? All oh, right, your name's Lionel. What about pronouns? It's, uh, you know what? I'll go with he, him today. Of course. Yeah, how could you forget? This nap seems to have been deeper than most, and your head is throbbing. Is that the only thing that's throbbing? It's hard to tell where this headache came from. Well, it's probably from the other head. I don't know. Your body is sore, though, and you kind of feel sticky. You must have had a wet- <laughs> <laughs> So it was throbbing! No! Oh, no! I have a penis! <laughs> <laughs> Down below, fabric sticks to your skin. Oh no, I, I, I wear box. Okay, I, I don't wear either boxers or like straight up briefs. I wear boxer briefs, which is somewhere in between. So I guess boxers are more or less the same. Your thighs are sticky with splooshies and your boxers stick to your, um, to your pee pee. That's strange. Your dreams weren't particularly fun. <laughs> Huh. You don't usually wake up so foggy-headed. You could almost swear you hear someone in the other room. The sound of fabric rustling spurs you to sit up and look around. Suddenly, your eyes fall upon him. A short figure crouched near your laundry hamper. What are you doing in my laundry, my dude? The, the figure doesn't seem to notice you until you speak up. Hi. Who are you? Oh, I, I didn't think you'd be waking up so soon. He pauses, thinking for a moment. Uh, right, you asked me a question, didn't you? My, my name is Sasha. The young man stands awkwardly for a moment, shifting foot to foot. Um, you, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here, huh? Uh, I will respond kindly, because I am a gentle person. I am a gentleman. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I will respond kindly. Well, yeah, kinda. So what are you doing in my room? Even though you're unsettled by his presence, you're careful to keep your tone even. It's hard to tell how volatile this man might be. Ah, oh, good. I was so worried you'd be mad at me. Well, I'm here because I wanted to be close to you. This isn't a way to do it, but, but dude. I've been watching you, I guess, for a while now. Uh, okay, so what are you doing in my laundry? As you look over to him, you notice the strange man seems to be holding something. He clutches a piece of fabric in his hands. A familiar piece of fabric. Are those my boxers? Like, my sploosh stained boxers? What are you doing with my splooshy boxers? That's, that's what I used to keep all my splooshies in. You find yourself rather startled by the sight, honestly. Ah, uh, um... Well, yes, okay, yeah, they're yours. Uh, I know it looks a bit weird, but it's not like that. Oh, uh, okay, it's it's kind of like... It's kind of like what? What are you insinuating here? I, I just really like how you smell. Why are you sniffing my splooshies? <laughs> Shirts, boxers, anything that sits close to your body. I like the stuff that smells like you. Suddenly, you're missing clothes over the past weeks. Makes some sense. How long have you been following me? How long have you been sniffing my splooshies? Sasha looks rather nervous at the question. Uh, well, a while, I guess. Uh, I've just been so nervous to talk to you. Everything about you is so amazing. I, I didn't think you'd like a guy like me. Sasha pauses, rubbing the back of his neck a little as he clutches your boxes close. Why are you holding my splooshies close? To you, Jesus Christ! Are you really into it? Uh, so, 
I guess you probably want these bags. I want them back in the laundry. Those are dirty, my dude. <laughs> Unless maybe you might let me keep them. Make him work for... I'm not gonna make you work for anything. J go ahead, keep my boxers. I, Man, I could always get a new pair. Holy heck. You think on it for a moment, considering your options. If you let this weirdo keep your underwear, will he leave you alone? After a moment of thought, you take a deep breath. <gasps> okay, yeah, you can keep them. Oh my god, he's sniffing my- Oh god, why are you still sniffing my blue sheets? No! Sasha's delight is tangible. A dopey smile spreading on his face. He presses the fabric of the boxers to his face warmly, and his shoulders relax a little as he lets out a soft sigh. I knew you would understand me. You're a specialist, I thought you were. You're truly like nobody I've ever met. A sudden shudder comes to go through Sasha's body as his thighs press close to get- Ah! He breathes in the scent of your body for a few more moments, then tucks your boxers into his pockets. Thank you, Lionel. I know you'd be like- What do you mean I'd be like you? He slips closer towards the bedroom door and steps out into the hallway. Footsteps sound out the floor, then shutting out of another door. He's gone. But you have a feeling he'll be back. There's no way he will leave you alone that easily. Oh. Well. What happens if we don't let Sasha keep her boxers? Well, uh, I'm gonna make you return those because I, I do not appreciate you sniffing my sploosh. Don't. You pause a few beats, then speak up, nodding. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have you return them, if you don't mind. Sasha clears his throat awkwardly, nodding a little. Right, of course, I'll just drop these back in the laundry. Sasha drops the boxers back in the bin awkwardly, then turns to you. I'm sorry for creeping you out. I know it's kind of strange, me being here. I thought maybe you'd be able to understand, though. I mean, I didn't mean to be creepy, you know. I thought you'd take longer to wake up. S thought I'd gotten the dosage right the dosage sasha what what did you do to me what what did you do with my drink jesus you pause listening close you could swear he said something what was that sasha shakes off the awkwardness taking a deep breath i just thought i was gonna get it right this time i'm not exactly good at this whole love thing that's why uh that's kind of why i didn't want to talk to you in the first place because i'm not good at it I knew I'd come off as wrong. Well, uh, like sniffing my boxers is not the best way to get to know me. Well, he sure wasn't coming off right, assuming he wanted to seem normal. Still, you were gonna have to decide what to do about him. Uh, I'll just, I'll just kick you out. I mean, I, I, I ain't gonna call the cops in here. Like, heck, uh, we all, we all have done some pretty weird things. Okay, a slow sigh escaped you as you, in the end, you decide not to take any action. After all, he seems harmless enough. Well, he's well-meaning, at least. I, I want you to get out of my house, okay? Uh, go home and don't do something like this, okay? Sasha is surprised and hesitant, taking a deep breath. Then he nods. Uh, all right, I'll go. He seems morose as he moves towards the door. You can hear his footsteps as he walks down the hall. Then the sound of the front door swinging shut as he leaves. You have a sinking feeling as he leaves, though. The fog in your head is thick, and you feel a headache creeping in. He was acting strange before he left. You have a feeling this is in the end. What's with those pills? Jesus Christ. The end. For now. Alright, what happens if we call the cops? Your head still feels foggy and thick, but you force yourself to slog through. You reach over the bedside table, take your hold of your phone and dialing 911. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, hello. There's an intruder in my home. He's attempted to steal my underwear, and I'm not sure how long he's been here. We'll send an officer down right away. Should be two or three minutes. It's honestly a relief to know help is coming, even as Sasha takes off. You can hear footsteps, then a door slamming as Sasha runs from the house. The wailing of sirens is loud, though, and it wasn't long before they caught him. When you walk outside, groggy and dazed, to answer questions, you see him there. Oh my god, I am so sorry, Sasha! <laughs> you silly look so sad! Oh no! Sasha sits in the back of the car, staring at you with his palm pressed to the glass. 
He looks so sad sitting back there. Part of you wonders if you made the right decision, but you shake the feeling easily. Honestly, that strange little creep got what he deserved. You know this isn't the last of him. You'll have to testify at his trial, of course. But you hope this is the last time he'll be able to bother you. I survived. Well, he got lucked up. Wow, apparently there's going to be quite a few endings in this. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's, let's go back, I guess. So what happens if I make you work for them? As your eyes scan up and down his body, take in the blissful way he clings to the fabric. An idea seems to arise in your head. So you aren't sure it's a good one. Let's make a deal, yeah? You can keep those, but you've got to do something to make it worthwhile for me. Oh, you don't mean... Adult fun times? Sasha seems stunned by the idea, honestly. Still clearly not opposed. He moves closer, sinking onto his knees in front of you. Oh god, yep. Uh, guys, I'm definitely cutting this part out. So if you guys want to see uh, the rest of this, uh, you should definitely like go check out the Patreon. We're skipping ahead! Alright, so what happens if we respond angrily? Um, yeah. WHAT THE HECK ARE YOU DOING HERE?! Sasha almost seems taken aback by your anger. As if he wasn't expecting you to react so negatively. Uh, well, I didn't expect you to be awake. I just wanted a chance to get close to you. That's all. I thought, I still think you're really amazing. I was just too nervous to talk to you. Even as he speaks, your eyes run over the strange young man. After a moment, they land on an interesting detail. Are you holding my boxers? Sasha's eyes open wide with shock at your outburst. Uh, uh, well, to be honest, yeah. Sasha clutches the garment closer, his face a little flushed. It, it's not how it looks, so I promise. Or well, I guess it sorta is. I just really like clothes worn close to your body. They smell so much like you. It still, it still bothers me that he's holding my splooch in boxers like come on man i need to get those cleaned i guess you're probably gonna make me give them back though oh gosh jesus oh so it's pretty much the same endings from here hold up hold up this is lionel from the future i had to go back and i found out that apparently there's one last ending to this i just <laughs> i just found out so let's get into it uh kick him out a slow sigh escaped as you in the end you decide not to take any action after all, he seems harmless enough. He's well-meaning, at least. I, I want you to get out of my house, okay? Just go home and don't do something like this, all right? Sasha is surprised and hesitant, taking a deep breath. Then he nods. I probably should have seen this coming. I thought I was a good judge of character. I guess in the end, I really didn't know you so well. I thought you would understand me, but you really don't. I won't, I won't bother you again. He takes a deep, shaky breath rubbing at his eyes. I... I know. I just thought you'd get it. He stands there for a moment, and the silence is awkward. Then something in him seems to change. No. No. No, 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 no. You will understand. Frick. You have to. You've got to come around. You'll understand. I know it. You just need a little time. I wasn't wrong about you. I couldn't have been. You just need a little push the right direction. Sasha digs into his pockets and to your horror, he pulls out a bottle. A rattling orange bottle of pills. Suddenly, the hazy wake up and pounding headache makes sense. He comes close to your bed and though you try to move away, your body and limbs are heavy. He pries your mouth open with warm hands, dumping a few pills into your mouth. Then he forces your jaw shut, holding your mouth close hard. Two fingers stroke your throat, forcing you to swallow the pills. They stick dryly to your throat on the way down, and you let out a muffled cry. Sasha holds you down hard, forcing you to stay in place. Until finally, the pills kick in, and you find yourself fading out of consciousness. You drift off into nothing, floating away from your body. And the last thing you see is a strange, smiling face looking down at you. You'll change your mind. I know it. My dude, what is wrong with you? Oh god! Jeez! All right, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was Hopeless Romantic. If you guys want to play this for yourself, link to the game is in the description below, as well as all the other fun links like Discord, the subreddit, and Twitter, of all things. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.